Okay, let's try solving an equation with diplomatic pouches, which I'm going to call bags and coins. So we know that every bag has the same number of coins in it. And we know that each side of the equal sign is equal to the other side of the equal sign. So I want to try to get the bags by themselves. So I'm going to cross out this coin. And to keep it balanced, I'm going to cross out this coin. And then I'm going to cross out this one, and this one, and then this one, and this one. Now, if each bag has the same number of coins in it, I can divide my coins up amongst my bags. And that means that I should have two coins in each bag. So let's go ahead and check and see if we're right. And I'm literally going to put two coins in each bag. So I have two, four, six, seven, eight, nine coins on this side, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine coins on this side. So my answer is right. Now, it's not always convenient to draw a picture every time I need to solve an equation. So let's see if we can translate this into um, numbers and symbols. If I call my unknown x, then I have three x's plus three coins equals nine coins. I'm going to draw a balance line so that I remember what I do to one side of the line I have to do to the other side to keep it balanced. And before in the picture, I got rid of these three coins and then three coins on the other side. So let's do the same thing with the equation. Getting rid of in math is subtraction. So I'm going to subtract three from each side. Plus three minus three is zero. And I'm left with three bags. And nine minus three is six. So when I got to this point before, I divided up the coins by the number of bags. So I'm going to go ahead and divide the coins by the number of bags. And the number of bags is always the number that's sitting in front of the letter. Now what happens over here when I do it to both sides, I have the same number top and bottom. And in a fraction, that means 1. And I'm left with 1x. And 6 divided by 3 is 2. And then I can check. And I'm going to go ahead and put my answer of 2 in place of my x. And I'm going to put in a little set of parentheses so that I remember I need to multiply. And so I'm going to follow order of operations. 3 times 2 is 6. Bring down the rest of the problem. 6 plus 3 is 9. And indeed, 9 equals 9. So I know my answer is right. So let's try um, another one. Get rid of this up here. This one has bags on both sides. First, I'm just going to go ahead and um, try to figure it out with the picture. If I get rid of a bag on this side, I need to get rid of a bag on the other side. I get rid of this bag, and I get rid of this bag. And then if I want to get rid of this coin, I need to get rid of a coin over here. And I'm left with two bags equals six coins. So I'm going to divide my coins up by my number of bags. So there must be three coins in the back. So if I translate this, or let's first check, make sure that we did it right. We decided there was three coins in a bag. So I'm going to write that on there so I don't forget. So I have three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen coins over here. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen coins over here. So I know I'm right. OK, so let's try and do that symbolically with um, making the bags x. OK, 
Okay, on this side I have 4x plus 1. And on the other side I have 2x plus 7. Again, I'm going to draw my balance line. It's always easier to start with bags before coins if I have bags on both so sides. And uh, I always want to uh, deal with the one that's got the smaller coefficient. Coefficient's just a big fancy math word for the number in front of the letter. So I want to deal with this 2x first. So to get rid of it, in math terms, that means subtraction, minus 2x. And what I do to one side, I need to do to the other. So plus 2x minus 2x is 0. And I'm left with 7. 4x minus 2x is 2x. Bring down the rest of the problem. And then remember, the next thing I did in the picture was I got rid of this one coin here. So I need to do the same thing up here. And to get rid of is subtraction. So plus 1 minus 1 is 0. 2x equals 6. And then remember when I got to this point, I divided the coins up by the number of bags. So that means I'm going to divide both sides by 2. And 2 over 2 gives me 1. I have 1x. And 6 divided by 2 is 3. Then I can check 4 times 3 plus 1. Is that equal to 2 times 3 plus 7? 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 7. 12 plus 1 is 13. And 6 plus 7 is 13. And my answer is right.